going on my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy nasim the dream we are back for another edition of a reaction video but this week will be yet another throwback reaction experience and today i have chosen one of the greats in my opinion the greatest band of all time i will be reacting to pink floyd live at the live 8 benefit concert i'm gonna watch the rest of the video probably after this reaction but just to save time for this reaction I'm just gonna react to that one segment. Now, if you don't know what Live Aid is, this was actually a benefit, a string of concerts that was made, raise awareness about global poverty and the need for action for world leaders to address issues such as debt relief, trade justice, and aid for Africa. So this is pretty similar to Live Aid, if you're not familiar, is one of the biggest live organization performances with the biggest lineup and one of the most important performances in rock history. With Queen, we have The Who, there was also Dave David Bowie, Wham, and then Paul McCartney. And like I mentioned, this was held out in July 2nd of 2005 down in the GA states and in South Africa. And if you're not familiar why this is such a big deal, especially with this performance from Pink Floyd, in 1985, that's when Roger Waters decided to leave the band. If you know, you know, I don't really feel like going into detail about it. It's just a lot of hogwash. But because of this benefit, they made a reunion to perform live as a traditional, almost original co-founder band, except without Sid Barrett, who died many, many years back early in the prime of Pink Floyd. And this was also three years prior to the death of their keyboard player, Richard Wright. So that also adds to why this performance was so special in history. But also to me, because Pink Floyd is hands down one of my most favorite i probably put them right there for a second or maybe third favorite band of all time but nonetheless this is an immense band i had the pleasure to see roger waters live uh hopefully i get the chance to see pink floyd live as well soon yeah i have never actually got the opportunity to check out this performance so we're gonna check it out and like i said i'm only gonna be checking out the segment where they play wish you were here let's get into it and let's go It's actually quite emotional standing up here with these three guys after all these years. Standing to be counted. Good old Davy. Anyway, we're doing this for everyone who's not here. And particularly, of course, for Sid. R.P. to Sid Barrett, man. Pioneer of psych music right there. God, this is such a cool-ass moment. Roger still sounds so damn good live, man. Definitely one of the greatest experiences of my life for sure. It's my game set of the year. Mason, drums. 
Bob Close right there. How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. That's so dope, man. Rolling over the same old ground. What have we found? The same old fears. Wish you were here. I wish I was there, dog. My goodness. It's so good that they're around, but man, I wish. I wish they were still together. Seeing them all on stage like this is just. I don't think anyone can really beat that. Especially if you're a Pink Floyd fan. Beautiful. God, that was so good. I, I think a lot of that really adds to just why I wish you were here is my favorite record from them. I think their best record is The Wall, but uh, Wish You Were Here, I feel like, is just a perfectly packaged and just has like the perfect progression for me with Shine on Your Crazy Diamond going in. So, welcome, uh, welcome to Machine. That is just so out of this world and I, I might as well not even just keep going on because I'm just going to be going at this point into an album review of Wish You Were Here which I mean is a 10 out of 10 record and this is a 10 out of 10 band and I think it's even so special that they were willing to let bygones be bygones which is just like for what it is already is just already super petty but um I, I'm glad that they were at least able to do that they know how special it is and since it is for charity and uh for um you know to speak out against things that were super super important at the time and important to this day um it's nice to see that they're still willing to do that it would have been really cool to see them do a lot more of their like crazy live psych inflictions that they were so out of this world for were bringing in a whole different experience compared to what you normally would hear from the record i mean most of the tracks were already still there especially visually this would have been really cool i really feel like it would have been awesome if this was in a dome because then they could really do some crazy stuff with the lighting and with the effects and dramatic effect that overall giving this a really big cinematic effect especially because when i think about my experience at roger waters and the all-state arena um it was just out of this world i mean the stuff that they really put together with the laser show and just the setup of it it was just like mesmerizing so um that is something that looking from this it is an outdoor event that i think would have been really really cool to see um them perfect that but this is uh has numerous bands added to the lineup so they're not necessarily necessarily just pertaining to just pink floyd but i guess that's something that's like a, i guess a little bit disappointing that i would really love to see just because they are outstanding with that and i'm sure pink floyd now even with like david gilmore as the front man what they're doing with their tours now is also so amazing i don't really think i got to see anything related to their live shows from last decade or just relating to at all of recent time i think the potency of the performance is still there um i know there's gonna be a lot of people especially from the time the amount of times that i wear my my pink floyd shirt or any band shirt of of anybody who was uh provident and in their prime back in the 70s the amount of times i hear people just kind of just crap on them because of how broken down uh they claim to be and they're just kind of just like totally shit on them for you know not being as good as they are because you know they are um old man okay i don't think there's many pink floyd live videos that i have seen so i need to change that because i really do mean it when i say they are one of my most favorite bands i don't even know if you can see it with the blur but with um the poster that i have and then i also have wish you were here down on the the wall of fame right there so i need to definitely fix that um that's definitely definitely gonna be somewhere in the lineup for some throwback reactions so if you have any suggestions please put them down in the comments i would like to see what you guys think i should listen to um for a reaction if you have anything else i should react to it doesn't have to be pink floyd related related if it's anything from the throwback from the 70s or from the 80s even from the 90s 
let me know and that is it for this week's reaction video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please like and subscribe to help the channel grow as it means the world to me thank you guys so much for watching and catch you in the next one Doses. How are we?